you and me proudly presents the Milwaukee Road in the Bitterroot Mountains, a simulation in Oran's TRS. One of the most spectacular portions of Milwaukee Road's transcontinental mainline crossed the Bitterroot Mountains between St. Rachel's, Montana and Avery, Idaho. The line itself has been abandoned in 1980, but virtual reality now opens the possibility to get a little imagination of the once mighty Milwaukee Road. You can jump behind the control of a box cap electric, moving a freight train. Or operate the legendary Olympian Hiawatha transcontinental passenger train along Milwaukee Road's main line by either Quill Drive Electric or a rebuilt diesel power. Also a train travel as a passenger inside a coach, a sleeper, in a Superdome coach or on the famous Skytop launch car is possible. Locking trucker can pick up locks beside St. Joe River and carry it down to Avery, where a Milwaukee Road train awaits its load. Or take a speeder and run the tracks for inspection or fire control. And last but not least, listen to the sound of the powerful Little Joes, together as a tandem unit providing over 10,000 horsepower. Or in combination with the SD40-2 diesels, by common practice in the last years of electrification at the Milwaukee Road. Since the simulation reached up over Lookout Pass, it is also possible to witness a train rolling through Mullen, Idaho, at Burlington Northern's ex Northern Pacific's Lookout Pass line. But for now, you may sit back and watch this little demonstration of train traffic over the Billroot Mountains, as it was more than three decades ago. Now a heavy freight train, led by three SD40-2 diesel locomotives from Washington State, approaches Avery beside St. Joe River. The train crosses Avery maintenance yards, the turntable and roundhouse, the big shed and the sand tower before it reaches Avery Depot. Since the main line between Avery, Idaho and Otello, Washington have never been electrified, all trains were pulled by either steam and diesel power between Montana and Coast Division. Little Joe EF4 number E75 awaits its train in front of substation number 14 at Avery and moves backward to get in front of the train. Safe behind the fence, the photographer is capturing the drama as the driver switches the control up into the 16th notch and the power units accelerate the train of 130 heavy loaded cars. E-78 leads the pack eastbound out of Avery, past the yard throat and under the highway bridge at the east end of town. Now the train bends into the valley of North Fork of Sancho River, out of Avery. After a slowdown to allow a boost crew change back at Avery, the train accelerates into the steep mountainous terrain up to Stetson, Kylie. Falcon, Adair, Rowland, and St. Paul Pass. The end of the train now walks beside the fire patrol speeder shed, moves under the road bridge, and leaves Avery. We have been climbing a 1.7% grade since we left Avery, which will continue to Rowland. The train now crosses Stetson Bridge, a nine span girder steel trestle the first of ten trestles on the way up to St. Paul Pass. Just out of tunnel number 32, the train crosses Big Dick Creek trestle and negotiates narrow shelf.
The train moves out of snowsheds at tunnel number 27 and approaches the 13 girdle span steel trestle at Clock Creek. The power unit leads the train across the trestle and continues into the Loop Creek Valley. Up the hill at the north side of Loop Creek in the background appears tunnel number 23 and 24 as well as a small creek trestle while the train moves over Big Beer Creek trestle at the south side of Loop Creek. The skiing views Russell Creek trestle and the train crossing it, while Barnes Creek trestle and the rock face nearby appears uphill in the background. The end of the train crosses Beer Creek trestle and the upper loop track can be clearly seen at the north side of Loop Creek. The photographer of views from up Kelly Creek trestle down to Turkey Creek trestle crossed by the train now which makes its way up Luke Creek Canyon south side. Out of tunnel number 26, the train crosses Loop Creek Road and dives into tunnel number 25. The train passes through the tunnels 26 and 25 and crosses the siding of Adair Loop. Between Turkey Creek and Kelly Creek Trestle, the train travels about two miles and takes almost 115 feet of elevation. Now the train crosses the 850 foot long Kelly Creek Viaduct, number DD220. Kelly Creek Trestle is the largest viaduct of Rocky Mountains Division and the highest bridge at the Milwaukee Road. The power now rolls in front of Johnson's Big Cut and crosses Barnes Creek Trestle. The rock face got its name during construction of the Milwaukee Road. A contractor named Johnson needed to blast its way through the rock nearby Barnes Creek. 25,000 pounds of explosive powder have been touched off and a gigantic blast threw tons of rock and coarse ice boulders down the valley and onto excavation camp number one. Nobody has been killed or seriously injured, but half of the camp was smashed. E75 crosses small creek trestle at milepost 1754.5 and gets into tunnel number 24. The train emerges from tunnel number 24 and continues at the gap to tunnel number 23 at milepost 1754.4. Now the train have made all the way from Avery over the 1.7% grade up to St. Paul Pass and enters tunnel number 20 dividing Montana and Idaho. The tank cars, the heavy loaded bulkhead flat cars, the containers and the caboose follows the train into the 6,771 foot long St. Paul Pass Tunnel. Exiting St. Paul Pass Tunnel at East Portal, the power units did its job at a steep grade and the Joe goes into the regenerative braking mode, putting the downhill energy of the train back into the trolley and automatically to another train or to maintain our power. Now the train crosses Salty's trestle, a 13 girdle span steel trestle which remains in our days like all other Milwaukee Road trestles in the Bitterroot Mountains. It can be clearly seen from Interstate 90 at Salty's exit. The train speeds through Hogan, where a box cap help on number E29 is waiting for its next service. The train now enters Henderson, Now the little Joe leads the pack along Drexel substation and continues east. Here's Andreas, Masula, Deer Lodge, Butte, the Pipestone Pass, the 16 Mile Canyon and Three Forks to Harlotten, the east end of the electrified Rocky Mountain Division of Milwaukee Road's Butte Sound Extension and not yet part of this simulation. <laughs> 